Are you struggling to find your place in the art world or do you feel like your art isn't reaching the right audience or generating the soul you deserve? Well, today I'm going to share the secret behind creating art that truly sells by finding your niche and also reaching the right audience. As a self-taught artist, I have always struggled with this and this has been a turning point, a major shift for my art career. So stick around if you want to know how I did this and if you want to turn your art, your passion into a thriving business and if you want to stand out in this crowded market in the art world. We always hear the word niche, niche, niche in, on social media. So niche in art context means an area of expertise, a specific area of expertise that an artist is known for. It could be the style, whether it's um, realism, abstract, surrealism, subject matter, whether your subject matter is landscape, cultural identity, social justice. It could also be medium you use, whether you use oil, watercolors, acrylics, sculptures whether you are into photography so these are the things that can make you have a niche and so important because you are going to stand out you're going to stand out from in this crowded market it's also fine having a niche is also going to make you a professional in that field because that's what you've been known for and you've always repeatedly made something from that field and then on the long run you become a professional of that field it's also going to make you get loyal followers and buyers that can connect with your art style or buyers that connect with your art style but another thing that is important to find why it's also important to find a niche is because it increases marketability people know you for this and then they just come straight to you because that's what you are known for and then people will a particular group of people will just come to you there's so many benefits for having a niche and it's so important it's really important if you want to turn it into an art business for me i I started painting realism and then I did some abstract work for clients. But I came back to realism because that's where ideas flow from. That's where, that's what excites me. So to find your niche is by finding what excites you in art. But before finding that, you have to experiment. Like I said, I did realism. I did, um, I also, I also did photography. I did so many things. I, I have passion for many things. Experiment, try what, try different mediums, try watercolor, try. I also used watercolor. I, I started using watercolor at first and then I went to, um, acrylics. I also tried using charcoal to draw. But I ended up going back to acrylics because that's what I like. After experimenting, that's why I like fell back to acrylics. And then also I fell back to realism with a bit of abstract in it. And as an African contemporary artist, I figured out that that is where my creative mind flows from. When I want to create a piece of art, it comes back to my roots. It comes back to my culture. That's where my ideas come from. That's what excites me to share my ideas, my, my culture. That's what excites me. So that's how I find, found my niche. So you can also do that by experimenting in different styles, using different subject matters, and also different mediums. And then find what excites you. And then stick to it. Stick to it evolve and stick to it and when you found that it doesn't mean that that's it that's the end you can't you know modify it or make it better or after you've done this okay that will be later in the video but that's how i actually found my niche and also find your niche by looking at after experimenting what are you drawn to what 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 is the thing that you're always going back to what what is what is the medium that you're using more often what's the subject matter that 
it's always on your mind to use you know that's you finding your niche stick to what you know you like that is pure creativity without external influences next thing is finding your audience your audience is through social media that's how you market your work you post your work on different social media platforms, but I advise you to stick with one first as someone that's starting. But let's say you're sticking with one. Then you start posting that particular art that you are liking, that art style that you found niche. Then you keep posting different types in that area. So you definitely gravitate people will definitely find you interesting and then you look at what are the comments they give you what do they say which of your work makes them come back for more which of your works creates more conversation answer feedback answer questions that have been asked to you connect with them and then you know okay this is what they actually like this is this is this is the style they like. And then you see whether you can replicate that or make it better. And the kind of content that makes them, that creates more conversation are the kind of content you should recreate. That's the truth. And that's how to find your audience. Also use hashtags that are related to the kind of audience you want. I always say, for instance, I use hashtag as a black contemporary artist. I use hashtag black art, black artists, black female artists. This draws people. So anyone that is looking for some art related to that field, you will always find my contents there. So stick to that, replicate, evolve, and repeat. So that's what I did when I started TikTok. I started TikTok, the first TikTok account I did, I shared different things. I shared my lifestyle, I shared, my, I shared cooking, this is also something I'm interested in. I shared cinematography. I shared art. My, feel, my followers were so stuck. I was so stuck. People didn't even understand because there's so many things going on in that page. What are you, what, 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 okay, what are they, what are you really giving? Because you, you can't do all at, at once. So that page didn't really grow until I created a new page and focused on just my art. And my art, I focused on just my African contemporary art. That was when I found a major growth and I've never found that in just three months. I'm always, I'm almost at, at, at 1000 followers and I'm so grateful. And some of the videos have gone viral. So when you open it, you just know this is what you get. African contemporary art storytelling behind the scenes, why I painted different things. That's what you get. And my followers also asked me to explain the reason why I painted some of my artwork. And I did that. And that video actually got a good engagement on TikTok. So reply your followers that they know they'll ask questions, reply your DMs and reply your comments. That will make you know what they want to watch what excites them in your work and then you repeat and then you replicate that and then you do it and then you know how to tailor your content to what interests your audience by saying what they comment on the questions they ask you you know the videos that have done well on your page so that's just the harsh truth so, the next thing I want to talk about is creating art that actually sells. After you found your niche, you find your audience and you know what they want. And then now it's time to create the art that sells. There's a thin difference between the art you want to make and the art that appeals to your audience. When you understand that this difference, you have gotten the key. You found the key. So don't create selfish art selfish content for just you not that that's not even going to because sometimes i feel like i just want to share maybe the sky or something or where i went to that's just what but that's not what your audience followed you for they followed you because of they want to see your artworks so don't create selfish art create the things that you know your audience already like if you know they are liking your abstract your, your abstract work, stick to that abstract and create more 
if you know they are liking your 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 realism stick to the realism so and if you want to branch into other aspect create another page and create another audience for that for that aspect that you are interested in just know you can't combine different things in one page you confuse your audience they will know what to follow so that's something i've learned i've learned over the over the over the last one year because <laughs> it's recently and i'm so grateful i found that it made my content creation so easy i don't need to think about different i just focus on something that i know it's for this audience and i'm going to keep creating it for the audience and if you want to branch out create another page and get the audience that you want from the scratch i didn't mean to your your artwork is a very important thing in selling your work if for instance this art is is this is this is a simple portrait painting but there's a story behind it and that's what people buy when i shared my story behind my my culture my era culture it got many people very interested in my work people want to know what that culture is about and how that has influenced my artwork and it has so um try to share the story behind why you created each piece that's what people actually buy apart from the art looking very nice people want to know why you created it market your art effectively there's nothing wrong with self-marketing make sure you put yourself out there use the right hashtags that the algorithm will use to bring the right audience for you collaborate with people collaborate with other artists so your art can reach different different areas different people collaborate with other artists or galleries and also show the behind the scenes of your work show the process of your painting share it with your audience that makes them anticipate like they want to see the final stage of your work it's build it builds up like a a, a journey and people want to be part of a journey so show the painting process the next thing is consistency i can't even emphasize how consistency is good that's what got me to 900 almost 1k on tiktok please be consistent if then if this didn't really happen to me I'll, i wouldn't tell you there's nothing there's nothing that is going to grow your page than consistency whether you use um some popular or trendy trendy sounds no your consistency is what going to grow your page your unique self and your consistency so hold on to how unique you are and be very consistent upload good video and my final thoughts will be finding your niche is super interesting it is a very beautiful process so you experiment after experimenting you figure out what excites you and you go all in in what excites you don't be scared go all in in it and explore that idea explore it try it try different things mix different things as long as you found something that excites you thing is finding your niche understanding your audience and creating for that audience i want you guys to experiment go home experiment try different things evolve and find your niche so i want you to tell me what you think about finding your niche has it really helped you grow your your social media page and what your niche is about you can share that on the comment section and guys don't forget to like and subscribe on this video let me know if you like more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on my next video bye <laughs>